what's up guys today we're going to be uh finishing the work on the mk1 we're going to be slamming it but before we do that we got some brakes and brake pads and discs that we're going to be installing and all the dogs are in my way right now which is fine so we got some brake pads we got their oem style and then we got new discs and this is the suspension i'm putting on adjustable coils i got them off ebay um, they weren't that expensive for what we're doing this this will work fine this is literally i'm gonna drive this car maybe two three miles not very far this is just a weekend car it's just meant to look nice and that's it i'm not going to do no crazy trips so let me show you how we're going to get started all right guys so right here we're going to take off this screw right here phillips head and that that's the only thing holding in the disc brake. So there you go. This this brake complete. Uh, let me get a little toothbrush. Oh, shit. All right, guys. Dusting off the thing. Oh, no need to get crazy with it. All right. There's a new disc we got. So line up the little hole, you see it? Get your screw and screw it back in. That's it. And uh, your discs are done. So we're going to be installing these. Oh, can you push it up, Andy? The, the, the back one is not in. Push forward. You're almost there. There we go. Alright, uh, we're going to put these two screws in to hold it in place. Just hand tight for now. Hand tight forever. <laughs> hand tight forever. Then this one, we're going to have to get an impact and tighten it. It's on. Just This is just meanwhile. And we're going to go down here, get everything connected, and we'll tighten everything up after. All right, guys. So we're going to get the jack, lift up. Um, don't hit my bus. We're going to get, <laughs> we're going to, uh, get these to meet up right here. And it's important to have uh, the jack under it so someone won't be under it. You need, first bolt in that thing's huge that's what she said um but um yeah, this big bolt's pretty big but um send the bottom bottom bolt there you go there's the two nuts no washers you don't need washers guys um, would be fine Alright, these are the the uh, caliper bolts we're putting on right now and they're a little tricky but you just need to get get them started by hand Here at the most crucial part, holding the light at the right angle. 
this is what do or die type of moment right here and i'm, I'm messing up right now <laughs> but but being being the perfect light guy matters you know so make sure you go above and beyond when you're holding the flashlight <laughs> Guys, for the guys that, or gals, I don't know who watches, that say that I don't do any work on my car, here's the truth that I do. Perfect. I don't know if it's perfect. <laughs> Usually it's the, it's the bone, huh? Look at the little hole. Try one of them. <laughs> Galitos. All right, so we're lubing up the bolt. Uh, this is what we're using. Uh, some thread locker blue. Oh, that's pretty tight. Uh, they just told me to get it, so I. Man, this is tight. Ooh. Not that low as I thought, but. Well, because I have it at the highest setting. No, but still needs to drop. Yeah, but once we put it you down, you need to drop weight, homie. What do you mean? The weight of the car needs to collapse, yeah. and the coils need to sit. Then you adjust. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You like to do things in reverse. Here. Yeah. Well, that way, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep. You're it. like in my way. I need to know. 